Welcome to TechBrother, the Dharmaray. In this video, we are going to learn how to unzip multiple files which are stored in Azure Blob Store by using Azure Data Factory. So let me show you those files. I have already downloaded some of them. If you right click on this one or this or this, you will see some files. So what we want to do, we want to do this in Azure Data Factory. We have these files sitting on one of the container and we want to unzip them and they have something like these. Now let's go ahead and take a look on the portal and the, here is my input container that has those zip files. Um, so there are multiple zip files, Amir zip file dot zip and uh, demo zip file dot zip and my zip dot, uh, dot zip file. Now I would like to extract them into different folders. For each of this zip file I would like to have a separate folder and then file should be extracted in that one. Now where I would like to extract them, that will be going into the output container. So see right there, I was doing some demo here, so this is how we want it. Now I'm going to delete all these and then we are going to go for the next one. So let me delete, so we will have nothing here. It is going to overwrite anyways if we just leave them, but anyways, so I just want to clear this out. Now we'll go back here and open this and then delete yes okay so now our output container does not have any files um, let's go to the azure data factory and uh, create this uh, uh, pipeline now go to pipelines here new pipeline and first of all uh, as you can see that my input container has multiple uh, zip files uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to loop through these ones uh, so i have to get the list of these uh, file names uh, to get that, I'm going to use metadata activity and that's going to get me a list of uh, files. And here I'm going to go to settings and go to new data set, blob storage. And here I can select uh, delimited text. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to use this. I'm only going to use uh, the main container path and then use all the files available in that path. Hit continue. And here we will create a new linked service. We will provide subscription and then we will provide our storage name let's uh, test our connection and uh, then uh, we are all good let's create it uh, it's called azure blob storage 3 now let's go to the our input container and just uh, select input container we don't have to select first row has header or import schema i'm going to click to the none and hit ok now what we are going to do here we have to get the field list what i want to do here i want to get the child items that means i want to get the list of all those files now i have the list of all those files then but i have to loop through them to do that i will be using a for each so i'm going to bring for each here and then connect my get metadata to the for each i'm going to rename these ones so at least you have some get metadata get list of files or zip files Okay, so you can see right there, and then uh, we have for each loop. In the for each loop, uh, loop through those uh, files, uh, zip files. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. Here in the settings, uh, we are going to uh, select a sequential. Uh, we can go as parallel, that will process our files uh, in parallel. But I'm fine, uh, you know, depending upon the files, if you have a lot of them, you can go parallel or sequential, doesn't really matter. Here in the items, I'm going to add dynamic uh, content. Uh, I'm going to go to get metadata activity and then uh, output data child items. Uh, so child items. Uh, so that's our expression is going to get us a list of those files uh, for our for each loop. Uh, now inside the for each loop, uh, I'm going to use a uh, uh, click right there and use copy activity. Let's go to the copy activity, go to source, um, new. And here we will be going to the blob storage. Uh, click new. And here we will be using the same delimited text. Even we are not going to really use it. Hit continue. And then we can use the same linked service we created because it's the same blob storage. Now here you will be navigating to the container and the input container. And then do not select any file. Hit OK. And we don't have any header or anything like that. We are going to hit the none. Now we are all good here. Let's do some settings here. First of all, what we are going to do, we are going to hit open here and then uh, we are going to provide, uh, uh, create a parameter. Why? Because this parameter need to be updated uh, from the for each loop. So I'm going to call this a new parameter. I'm going to call it a zip file name. 
and uh, go to connection again and I'm gonna use this in the connection okay now we use the zip file in the connection here so we all good we are gonna go back to the pipeline and here in the pipeline that parameter appears now we need to map to the for each item so here we will go to the for each and then the item dot name that means that the file name we are getting from the our for each loop hit OK and now we are all good here let's go back one more time in the source and we need to do some settings for the compression here in the compression type you're gonna select the compression that your files are in my case these are zip deflate dot zip files so that's what I'm gonna select here and then you have two settings optimal or fast test you can go with optimal if you want and as you said that there are multiple different uh, tools uh, that create the zip files some create the uh, .gz some dot create dot tar so select uh, according to yours uh, now we are all good here and the uh, next uh, step is uh, we are going to go to the sync uh, go back to pipeline and here go to sync uh, we create new sync data set uh, azure blob storage is the place where we would like to create those files uh, and then uh, select uh, the limited text uh, again this is not really going to matter we are just going to move forward by using this uh, step uh, now from here in the link service we are going to select Azure blob link service 3 that's pointing to the same blob storage we have because we have multiple containers in the same blob storage now I'm gonna to navigate to the output container and hit OK now I don't need to provide any header or anything like that so I just wanna click on none and hit OK now you see right here I did not provide even the file name in the sync so whatever the file name is going to uh, unzip uh, is going to create that folder and then just place those files in the same file what it is getting from the input uh. now let's go to the pipeline here and the uh, debug okay first of all our get metadata got all the list of those uh, files uh. so you can see right there i have a file name amir dot amir zip file dot zip and uh, i have demo zip file so and then i have uh, my zip so these are the three zip files i have uh, as a ch ch child items uh. Once I have that, I pass those to the for each loop, and for each loop knows that there are three items. So it's going to loop through three items. Next, it's going to go to the copy activity. It's a read of one file, and then it created a file with the three files inside it. So it's reading one zip file and then creating multiple files out of that. So here it read one file as well, and then created a folder, and then created four files inside after extracting from here. So and then finally the last one the same now we are all good here we it's completed successfully we are going to go back to our uh, portal and here i'm going to go to the output see this is our input so we are going to go and go to the output here and you can see that the folders or folders are created for each of the zip file so you can see right there armor zip file dot zip you can click right there and these are the files that are sitting there if you want to see the data you can click on them and see the data right there okay so these are uh, created uh, just fine this is how you will read uh, multiple uh, files from azure blob storage and then unzip them uh, and save those files uh, on the blob storage container again and uh, in different uh, folders or whatever you want in so thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video